topic is going to be about modes of reproduction. We're going to be starting with viviparity. Viviparity. Vivi refers to life. Viviparity is the development of the embryo within the body of the parent that would eventually lead to birth. The embryo would usually get its nutrients via the use of a placenta organ. So we would have some sort of organism and the offspring, the embryos would be contained within and they would receive most of their, all of their nutrients from the parent via the use of some sort of organ such as the placenta. This could occur via some other means depending on the species. There is little to no yolk involved in the development of the offspring, which is a key feature in differentiating these modes of reproduction. The parity is usually exhibited by mammals and some, some reptiles. So we have mammals and some reptiles. Next we have oviparity. Ovi refers to egg. Oviparity is a mode of reproduction of the offspring at which the embryo is deposited into the environment during development, meaning the embryo would spend very little time within the parent. The embryos that are deposited within the environment are contained within eggs, which serve for the protection and do allow ga gas exchange. These eggs are usually produced in high quantity due to predation. A benefit to producing a higher amount of eggs is the possibility of a large amount of offspring surviving and also allows for the survival of, sit of the fittest situation, which would assist in the adaptation of the species to a new environment. This particular mode of Reproduction is common within fish, reptiles, and the majority of birds. So this would be depositing the, the embryos into the environment with the involvation of yolk. Next we have ovoviviparity. which is very similar to viviparity. This mode of reproduction involves eggs that are retained within the parent's body until they are ready to hatch. It is similar to viviparity in that there is internal fertilization occurring and the offspring are born alive. But these two methods differ in that there is no placental connection and the unborn young are nourished by yolk in the egg. So this mode also involves yolk. And their eggs are contained within some species that use oviviparity exhibit matrophy, which generally means the eating of the mother. Their embryo would, once it exhausts its yolk supply early in gestation, begin to feed off nutrients that it receives from the mother. The transfer of nutrients could be via the placenta or by some other mechanism, depending on the species. So it's sort of like a hybrid for viviparity and not in oviparity. Oviparity, rather, it would be common within sharks, 